welcome back to our series on chords. I'm Lisa of the Piano Studio of Lisa Bailey. And today we are going to work on boosting your chords, mastering sevenths fast. I'm gonna give you three easy steps to go through this process. And before you know it, sevenths will be a piece of cake. Come join me in the video. Let's work on boosting your chords by mastering sevenths fast with three easy steps. We are going to be following the same easy steps from creating colorful chords, adding notes for a richer sound. The three steps are number one, find the note that you are looking for. In this case, it's going to be a seventh. Number two, add the new note to the chord in the inversion that you desire. And number three, play the new chord in the chord progression. So three super easy steps. We are going to use um, a chord pattern that we used in two different videos. The first one is unlocking left hand accompaniment patterns on the piano. And the second video is effortless transposition in three easy steps. The chord progression is one, four, five, one. In the other two videos, we did it in the key of C, so we are going to be doing a little bit of transposition here and doing it in the key of A. So let's start with finding our chords. So we want a one chord, so A in first inversion, a D chord in root position, E chord in second inversion, back to A in first inversion. All right, so we are going to be adding the seventh on the E chord. So we're gonna have an A, D, E7, A. And if you use the Roman numerals, it's one, four, five, seven, one. So we want to create the seventh chord with the E. So let's figure out what the seventh is of the E chord. So here we go. A seventh is literally the seventh step in the chord. So your root, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's your seventh. Now, another easy way to find it is to take the root, the upper root, and go down two half steps. Remember, half steps and whole steps are super important when we're building chords. So you can either go up, seven steps within the key signature or go down from the upper root two half steps. So there's your seventh. Now, there's a couple different ways you can play this. You can leave the third out and just play the root fifth seventh, or you can leave the fifth out and play the root third seventh, or you can play all four notes if you want to. Sounds great any way you play it. So that's step number one, find the note, which is the seventh in the chord. Step number two, add the new note to the chord in the inversion you desire. So here's your root, one, two, there's your seventh. So there is your E seven chord in second inversion. Step three, play the new chord in the chord progression. So let's try it. A which is a one, D is four, E seven is five seven, back to one. So let's add some left hand to it. Let's use a left hand accompaniment pattern from the video, Unlocking Left Hand Accompaniment Patterns on the Piano. So we're gonna use the root fifth in eighth notes. So here we go. Here's our A, our one chord. Now we're going to D, our four chord. Now our five seven, which is E seven. Back to A, one. Now let's do half notes in the right hand. where we start on the piano with a different inversion for each chord. Second inversion for A, first inversion for D, first inversion for E7, back to second inversion for A. So now, 
let's use this left hand accompaniment pattern. Excellent. All right, let's try another chord progression. Our chord progression is C, A minor, D minor, G. And we're going to add the seventh on the D minor. Ooh, let's start in first inversion with C. So here's first inversion for C. Then we want A minor, which is also our sixth chord. Our D minor, which is our two chord, and G which is our five chord. All right, so remember C is always one. So now let's add the seventh to D minor. D minor is here and we need the seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's our seventh chord. And the uh, remember the other way you can find it is to take the top root and go down two half steps. There's your D seven. Now, if we're going to do this in first inversion, there's your seventh right there. And you can play it like this without the third. You can play it like this without the fifth, or you can play all four notes. So let's try that with the seventh chord. So step one was find the seventh. Step two was add the note to the chord in the inversion you desire. Now we're going to play the chord progression. So one chord is C. Sixth chord is A minor. Two seven is a D minor seven. Five chord is G. All right, let's add some left hand. So we'll do the same two patterns we did in the previous chord progression. C, A minor, D minor seven. resolution back to the one chord. All right, let's try one other left hand accompaniment pattern. Okay, here we go. Remember these three easy steps as you are mastering your sevenths fast. Find the note, which is the seventh in the chord, add the new note to the chord in the inversion you desire, and play the new chord within the chord progression you are using. Excellent job mastering your sevenths. Sevenths are not as difficult as they may seem, and I am so excited to see your progress as you work through these videos. We've boosted your chords by mastering sevenths fast, and you have three easy steps to follow. So keep me posted as you work on your sevenths. I'm very excited to hear about your progress. As always, I enjoy hearing from my audience, so please leave me a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Thank you.